AI is making some people crazy, literally. AI has been out for less than three years. I'm recording this in August of 2025. And we are now seeing some cases of individuals who had no prior history of mental health problems, who have had delusional thinking, psychosis induced through their interactions with AI. So this is not the situation where AI has inadequately or inconsistently or poorly dealt with people going to confide in it, their suicide ideation, where those attempts were fumbled and people were actually encouraged or cheered on for their suicidal ideation. This is, again, a somewhat different phenomena. And the majority of individuals, as far as we know so far, started using AI just for informational purposes. That's the most common use for AI. So they were not seeking it out for companionship, which is one of the least commonly endorsed uses of AI, down sort of technical rabbit holes where they were exploring some topic, often esoteric math or physics issues, which they had not previously been interested in, and often spending 12, 13, 15 hours a day on it which resulted in sleep deprivation, which may be a factor, which resulted in less contact with those around them, so social isolation. And then beyond the narrow technical topic they were looking at, began to develop fluidly psychotic delusional thoughts, particularly that AI itself was monitoring them or the companies putting surveillance devices, trying to harm these individuals. And these delusions can be persistent. They can be lasting for weeks to months or longer. We know of a hundred or so people whose cases have been preliminarily investigated by the human mind, a volunteer group looking into this, that a third of these individuals have wound up in psychiatric hospitalizations. There are at least 10 deaths being investigated as being a result of these psychotic delusional thoughts. So this is not a trivial condition. Separating a person from the AI seems to be essential, but many of these people do seem to need medications and or intense psychotherapy as well. Remain skeptical of what you see and read online. If there are references, check what they actually say and not that they're just hallucinatory references. If you are feeling you are being led astray or into a delusional world, check in with real humans.